Today we're going to change the accessory belt on a 996 uh, Carrera 4. Um, 996, 997, it's all going to be relatively the same. This car happens to be a 99, the beginning of the water cooled 911 series. A little cramped in here, but uh, it's going to be pretty easy to manage. We're going to take out the air box and then we're going to be able to access the belt in here. Why the belt needs to be changed, I'll show in a few minutes when we get there. So, we don't need a whole lot of tools. We're going to use either a flathead screwdriver or a nut driver to undo the hose clamp for the throttle body. Uh, we have a 13 millimeter head bolt here, an M8 bolt here, and then we have to unplug the, the mass airflow sensor plug, and then we're going to use a socket for our tensioner. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to get started here. For this airflow sensor plug, you have to press a little button on the back, which can be kind of hard. Sometimes it actually helps to take like a needle nose plier or something and kind of reach and help squeeze it. And you'll hear a click when it releases, and then you can you can wiggle it off. So that's the button right there that you have to press. You press this down and it lifts up a little tab over a latch. I've got my nut driver here. Nut drivers are a little easier. They are less likely to slip than a screwdriver. Loosen that hose clamp up. I've got a 13 millimeter socket here. Undo this bolt, which this bolt, by the way, is also your grounding lug if you ever need to jump start the car. You've got a, a hot pole under this little cover here. And uh, now this little cover opens up. That's your hot, and then this is your ground, so you put your jumper cable on those two places. And then we're going to undo the oil fill just by kind of prying the metal spring back and lifting the tube up. So now this is ready to come out. Um, start to wiggle it off. It's a tight fit, but it will come out. There it goes. Now that the air box is out, you get a much better view of this belt and the way that it's running. This is your main crank pulley right here at the bottom. This is your AC compressor. This is the power steering pump. This is the alternator right here and then down at the bottom is your water pump. Um, if the belt breaks, uh, you can still drive without AC power steering and your alternator, but you're not going to make it very far without a water pump working. The engine will overheat. So it, this is a belt we don't want to break, and this is actually pretty bad. You can see that not only are there cracks in the teeth, but there's some spots where teeth are missing, or I mean the ribs are, uh, are missing there. So it's a good thing we're changing this belt today. This pulley right here in the middle, the one that has the hex on it, this is the tensioner. So this one moves, so we'll be able to move this one out of the way to release the tension to take the belt off. And to do that, it's either 24 millimeter, or uh, I have an English set here that's 15 sixteenths. So I'm going to put the socket on here with this breaker bar, and as I push down, it's going to flex out of the way, and now I can start pulling the, the belt off. And once the belt's off the tensioner, I can, you know, let the tensioner go there take my wrench out of the way and then get this belt off. And the one tricky thing is, is it's pretty tight clearance on the water pump side. So you'll see that in a... I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but you may have to kind of get down there and, and kind of wiggle it just past the, the exhaust bracket there to get that, get that belt out. It should fit, but it's going to be snug. There it goes. So, old belt out. And new belt ready to go in. Since that water pump is down low and the hardest one to get the belt by, I'm going to start with that first. goes from the around the water pump 
And now I'm going to have a little loop here, right, because it's going to go over this pulley and the tensioner before it goes around the crank belt, or the crank pulley. And then it's going to go to the AC and power steering and under the alternator idler and then around the alternator. So I have it now in all the grooves. Just checking to make sure it's on all the grooves of all the pulleys. And it is. And so I've looped it over the idler, I'm sorry, the I've looped it over the tensioner so far. And so now when I tension this, I should be able to stretch it right over this extra idler. Ooh, that's tight. Tight tug. Here it goes. Get it in place. Make sure it's kind of right on there. And then release the pressure. And there. The belt has changed. Again, just verify and make sure that it's lined up properly on all of these pulleys. All the grooves are engaged, and they are. And now it's ready to put the airbox back in.